After almost 25 years, Ford releases a brand new Bronco. People have been waiting forever for this car. Fox 5 auto expert Nick Miles joining us now. Of course he has a first look because why not? He's Nick Miles. Of course, traditionally we give everything we have for first looks, and today should be no exception. Uh, the new Bronco, what do you think? It's right behind me here. This is the two door, by the way, the sport. The gray one back there is the four door, and we've even thrown in the 1969 Baja winner. Wow. Uh, Raul, this was, re yeah, they're pretty sexy, right? Uh, they were revealed last night uh, on the interwebs, uh, which is a series <laughs> of tubes, and when they revealed them, they crashed the internet, the Ford site. So many people trying to reserve them, uh, including, I'm sure, many of those people at Fox 5 because I get phone calls about this weekly from Aida who's always asking when's the Bronco coming <laughs> well it's here finally the, I, she probably has no use for me anymore uh, this is it this is the two door even if you take away Raul the big Bronco letters at the front of the vehicle you're going to notice that this vehicle is still a Bronco it's a throwback to the 1966 version of the Bronco this vehicle has been designed for off-roading for adventures uh, definitely if you take it out into East County you could do a lot of that uh, uh, these tie downs at the front here allow you to put a boat on the roof and tie them down. You can see the front fenders from the inside as well. Uh, check this out, by the way. You can take the roof off. You can take the doors off of this vehicle. You can stow them in the back of the vehicle and still uh, have a good time driving around in it, which you can't do with some of the competitive vehicles, which is one of the things that's attracting a lot of people to this brand new Bronco. Not only does it look sexy in its three different flavors on the outside, Raul, but jump on the inside and check this out. It has a 12 inch screen which is a, an option it has grab handles there that you can move around the vehicle you can attach your cell phone and your camera to the front of the dash on a special bar and it has power adapters right in there so you can power it from the bottom of the windshield plus if you should spill a juice box in the back this is for charlie and their kids by the way spill a juice box in the back you can hose it out on the inside uh, so that's the perfect adventure vehicle for your next uh, vacation raul uh, plus if you want to do a little off-road you can do the same thing with that. You can actually share your route with other people who have Broncos, wow. and you can monitor yourself doing all of the routes too. 360-degree uh, camera on the outside of the vehicle. I think this is the perfect family adventure vehicle. Uh, I have checked it out, and it starts around $30,000, or $29,000 here for the sport version, uh, and it starts around $30,000 for the two-door version. I took a four-door. I kitted it up with every possible option that I could find on there and still got it to around $65,000. So that's a huge range from around $29,000 to uh, mid $65,000 range. It's probably something for everybody in here. Uh, by the way, the sport version here, which is kind of, uh, it's going to come with 100 ac accessories when it actually launches the sport version here. The cool thing about this is the shelf in the back here actually slides out to become a picnic table. It has little legs here as well. They have some floodlights embedded in the tail here, which will flood whatever you're doing with his fishing gear. Uh, for Brad Wills, you can actually hang your uh, surf gear here, some towels to dry on these handles, which also work as towel uh, rails. Every single one will be 4x4, four four, and every single one will come with its own bottle opener here in the back. I'm going to like to do this with one hand. Look at that. Nearly got it. Wait a, a little minute. bottle opener in the back here, so you can enjoy it. It could be a beer, but we have to wait till no, we're off there. come air. on. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Stick to the soda. Um, uh, so... So could you see yourself vacationing in this yeah, at Lake sure. Tahoe, perhaps? Is it a bit blasphemous it's if I look at one of those models and I see a little bit of a Jeep inspired? Or is that, I shouldn't say that, right when the Bronco's <laughs> coming out. I see a little Jeep inspiration in the other one, I'm just saying. I, I think I will tell you, I think that the guys over at Ford would be hurt by that because they worked very hard at making it like a 1966 one. But let's just say it's head to head right now. The capability sure. is here. Sure. One of the things about the two door and the four door is kind of cool because the doors come off. Same thing as, as with a Jeep because the right. doors and the roof come off. However, the cool thing is there are one release doors and one release roof. One person can actually lift those off and put them in the trunk. Whereas if you have the competitive vehicle, shall we say, you might have to leave those doors and roof at home gotcha. uh, you can actually stow the doors in bags in the back of the vehicle and take it with you plus the side mirror is actually on the fender whereas in the competitive vehicle it's on the door so you lose the mirrors once you take the door oh. off just saying just for saying. what have kind of thought this out very thoroughly to find out exactly how you enjoy this vehicle off-road plus who doesn't enjoy a beverage that you have a bottle opener for in the back <laughs> i love the bottle opener idea just that's saying. pretty good
hey, uh, they look cool. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Nick, thank you. I, I'm just, just, but, just have one. They're good. Have a soda on me. <laughs> look at that guy. It looks hot Cheers. in Detroit. Time now.